So you've got your Google My Business listing all made. You've optimized it. You've been putting posts on it. One of the things you know you need to do is start getting customer reviews. Well, that has been a pain in the butt because they don't give you an easy way to get customers there. I mean, your URL for your reviews or your listing is this freaking long. It could be even longer, but there's no way you can take that and remember it. If you do, customers will never remember it. Writing it on your business card, boom, that's out too. You could use something like a bit.ly link, but then it looks kind of cheap. So we have a solution for you. I'm Cheryl Locke with Ginger Roots Media. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a new feature Google My Business rolled out on June 20th, 2019. They've done some testing before, but as of June 20th, looks like it's rolling out across the web. So here's your chance to get a URL that is short, something you can remember, your customers can remember. No more saying, well, you need to Google the name of my business or you need to go to my website, look for my Google reviews button, hit that, then go write a review. Nope. This is going to be short, simple, easy for everybody. Now, there are a few rules with it. It's rolling out, and from what I understand, it's going to be across the world for anybody that has a Google My Business. So names are going to be a problem. If you don't have a unique name for your business, or if you're wanting something really short, they say you got to have at least five letters. There's going to be some competition for this. Whether or not there's going to be a kind of squatting, they say no. I find that hard to believe. I think that'll happen. In fact, I'm sure it will. But that's why I want to make this video so you can log into your Google My Business, know exactly what you need to do, and get that taken care of today before everybody in the world goes out and tries to get your name. So let's head on over to Google My Business and I'm going to show you how to get this done. Okay, so here we are. I'm logged in to my Google My Business page. I am also on the Home tab over in the left. Now, you can see here, there'll be a new little box that says Complete Your Listing, Add Profile, Short Name. Simply click it. Now, you can add in any short name you want. It does tell you you are allowed to change it three times per year. They also give the warning that if you don't take your actual business name, it could be gone at some point. Someone else might use it. Someone else somewhere in the world. So if you want your business name, they do have a suggestion here. My problem with this is I don't like dashes. So if I'm going to get Ginger Roots Media... I would take it out and make it one word. Now, once you do this, you pick your name, you'll hit apply. You'll see a pending on your profile where this box was. It'll have a little pen and it'll say pending. When I applied for these for some of my clients, I didn't even get the emails out before they were approved. Once they are approved, you will see this. You will now have a little box, get more reviews, and it will have your link, your vanity URL, right here. What you can do is leave it as is with the word review on the end. And if you click that, it will take you straight to leave a review. If you just want to lead them to your listing, then you're going to put the g.page slash and then your new username without the slash review. That will take you to their listing rather than just a review. So you've got two ways to use this URL and it really is quick and easy. Like I said, mine was approved before I even got emails out to each client. Go ahead, log in and get this done. It won't take you but a minute. I do want you to take into consideration what you want to use as your username. Okay, so there you have it. My suggestion is go on, think about what name you want that's short, easy to remember, easy to spell, can fit on your business card. 
then you can take that URL, exchange it for the one on your website. You can take it and start sharing it on Twitter, Facebook, anywhere else and start bringing in those reviews because as we know, the more reviews you get, especially if they're good, the higher you're going to probably rank. There's That's not all you need to do, but that's a good start. If nothing else, it's a great way to build trust. And I want you to start getting your Google My Business listing, moving up those ranks and drawing in the customers. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more how-tos here on Ginger Roots Media.